Hi, it's Mary from Singing Strong. If you're new here, welcome. And if you've been here before, welcome back. Today, I just wanted to talk about a student that I was working with last week. Uh, an incredible thing that happened, and this doesn't happen very often, uh, but it was so exciting. Now, this person has been having lessons for a while, and they've been very consistent in their efforts, and they're making some progress but they were struggling with their upper register. So I've spent the last oh, five or six lessons really working on their upper register, uh, starting high for their warm-ups and working on their higher notes. And then like descending to try and get that happening. And that was straining, It was there was a lot of straining going on. And I was giving them a whole lot of different strategies, things that we could do to get those notes without the pull up and the you know, strain on their throat and so on. So they were really, really struggling. <sighs> Sometimes you've just got to try different things. So, you know, we would talk about it or I would get them to attack it from a different way and so on. And it was just, it was a little bit of a struggle. I pulled out an, an idea that I thought would help and it has helped in the past with getting people singing higher in their register and I'm not sure if you've seen Finding Nemo but if you haven't you can get on YouTube and there's little snippets from Finding Nemo and you look up the seagulls and the seagulls in Finding Nemo they're you know always chasing the food and they're always like going mine 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 so they're after the fish or whatever. So when we use that sound, that mine, 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 we're adding a bit of twang and some forward brightness, and it can help with getting those high notes. So if I go mine, 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 I can get that higher note. I tried this strategy with this person, and I said, think of the seagulls from Finding Nemo. And we worked on it for a few minutes, just that mine, 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 and then getting them to sing the note. And it was like a switch. Uh, I've had some situations where, um, you know, a bit of practice and working through something, they'll sort of come to understand and it progresses and we do well. But this person, it was literally like one minute they couldn't and then the next second they could. It was like a switch went on and they got the high notes and every time then straight on pitch, no problems. And I was like, I was a little shocked to be honest because it was like, oh wow. It was like, you know, literally that, that doesn't usually happen with singing. It's usually you know, a slow process and eventually we get there. So it was quite incredible. It was like, literally like a switch went on and they could get it. So if you're struggling with your high notes, how about you practice the seagulls from Finding Nemo? Mine, 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 mine! So we've got a bit of twang, a bit of forward brightness and see if that helps with you getting those high notes. It's, it helps you get into a position where you're not pulling and straining Give it a try. You might find that you turn that switch on too. Who knows? All you can do is give it a go. That's what I say. All right. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing to my channel. I'm almost at 100 subscribers. I know this. It's not a lot, but every one of you is special. Please consider subscribing to my channel. If you really like the video, give us a thumbs up. And if you have any questions about singing or comments that you like to make, please feel free to put the com in the comment section. I do check them and I will reply if I have time. Go and try that. See if it helps with those higher notes. Okay, have a great day. See ya, bye.